بل والدا تو یو زین اولاد ہن ہولے نے کام لے اینڈ مدر شوڈ سکل دیئر آف اسپرنگس فار ٹو کمپلیٹ ایئرس لمن ارادا یتم الرضا فار ہوم وانٹس ٹو کمپلیٹ دیٹ سکلنگ وعلى المولود له ان اون دی فادر از دی ریسپانسبلٹی رزق ہن و قسمت ہن ٹو پرووائڈ فار دیئر فیڈنگ اینڈ دیئر کلوتھنگ بل معروف ان دی پراپر وے اف یو ہیو ڈائیورس دی وائف بٹ دیئر از اے چائلڈ ہو از سکلنگ یو کین سے ٹو یور ڈائیورس وائف یو ہیو ٹو کیپ کیپ دس چائلڈ ود یو اینڈ سکل یور یو نو ملک and i will provide you with your feeding and your clothing the father is responsible la tukallafu nafsun illa wusaha no one is burdened save according to his capacity la tudar walidatun bi waladiha no mother should be harmed due to her her offspring wala mauludun lahu bi waladihi in the same way No father should be harmed due to his offspring. While the war is a mistake, and the responsibility of a person will be transmitted to his heir also. Zalik fain arada fi salam. If the two, the parents, they decide that the the this you know the weaning of the child, that that mother will not suckle her him or her. Fain arada fi salam and taradi min huma wa tashawurin. by mutual consultation they decide fala junaha alayma then also there is no sin on on both of them why naratu mustatarzu if you want to have foster suckling auladakum for your for your sons and daughters fala junaha alaykum iza sallamtu ma ataytum bil ma'ruf there is no sin on you you can do it it is also permissible to have foster suckling from some other woman but when you have given to the real mother what you had decided to give it وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَاعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ And have regard of Allah, fear Allah, and keep it in mind that whatever you are doing, Allah is seeing it. وَالَّذِينَ يُتَوَفَّوْنَ مِنْكُمْ وَيَذَرُونَ عَزْوَاجِهِ يَتَرَبَّرْسَنَ بِأَنفُسِهِنَّ أَرْبَعَةَ عَشْهُرٍ وَعَشْرًا Now this was the, this was the rules regarding people, the wives who were divorced. Now about the widowed women. what should happen to them wal ladina yudawfauna minkum and those of you who die wa yadaruna azwajan and they have left behind them wives yatarabbasna bi anfusihinna arba'ata ashurin wa ashra those widowed wives should withhold themselves for 4 months and 10 days fa iza balagna ajalahunna and when they have completed this period فَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي مَا فَعَلَّ فِي أَنفُسِهِنَّ Then now it is no responsibility of yours about what they do about their own selves. بِالْمَعْرُوفِ But it should be in a reasonable way. Known methods of the society. وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ And whatsoever you are doing, Allah knows them. وَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي مَا عَرْغَطْتُمْ مِنْهِ مِنْ خِدْمَةِ النِّسَاءِ And there is no blame on you in that you speak indirectly of your proposal of marriage to the widows. How aqlan tum fi anfusikum, or you conceal it in your hearts. Wallah, alam Allahu anna kum sataskurun ahunna. Allah Taala knows that you will have their idea will come to your mind. Such and such woman has been widowed, or such and such woman has been divorced. Now. If you like her, you can have some idea in your mind that I want to marry her now. Walakin la tuwaidu hunna sidran. But don't make any agreement, any hidden, any secret agreement of marriage. Till that time that the idda is completed. Within this period, you can have some ideas. And you can mention it also in a beautiful way, in an indirect way. But there can be not a... a full agreement of marriage before the ending of that period wala walakin la tuwaidu hunna sidran illa an taqulu qawlan ma'rufa you can say something which is proper which can only hint that i intend to marry you wala ta'zimu ghadat an-nikah and resolve not don't resolve the marriage tie hatta yamlugh al-kitab wa jalla 
before that time that the period is completed the law is completed wa'lamu anna allaha ya'lamu ma fi anfusikum and know yourself you should know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is in your hearts fa'zaruhu so be be fearing him you should always be mindful that allah knows even those things which are in my heart he knows my intentions also wa'lamu anna allaha ghafurur rahim and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala know it and keep it in mind that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is is forgiving and forbearing